ladies and gentlemen. I was expecting you. One minute, please. Uh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. How do you do? This is Baz Banter 93 here again. I've sort of had a request to do uh, my whole Wind in the Willows collection, so this is what you're watching right now. Okay. Uh, Q and A questions. I didn't have many questions. Um, the original being, he asked me, "Do I watch Doctor Who?" Occasionally, pal, but I'm not really a massive fan. I'm not a Whovian. My favourite bands, um, I like 80s stuff really. My favourite singer is Billy Ocean. Uh, you did ask more questions. What are your pet peeves, prejudice, and just criticism of other people? Uh, Eve asked me, "Would there be any more usual adventures of Alistair Moody?" Yes, Evie. If my friends are cooperative enough to film it, of course. And Dan asked me what's my favourite scene in the whole of The Wind in the Willows. Probably the bit where Toast trying to lose weight in Fighting Fit. And my favourite Wind in the Willows series is the Oh Mr. Toad series. No, right, cameraman. If you could just uh, carry on filming, old chap. What's with the aftershave? It's just a video. Still got to look the best for my fans, pal. Right. Cameraman can sit down as well, I'm not a slave owner. Right, <sighs> onto the collection. First one I've got is uh, a complete collection from 2008, the original uh, release of the collection. And uh, that's the box at the side, pictures. I'm sure most fans have actually got this anyway. Um, yeah, but this is the one I've had from 2008. It's a bit battered though after so many times watched. So I got the 2013 re-release as well. Cameraman, I can remember when these were just £15 in Sainsbury's about five years ago. Mm -hmm. He is interested. And uh, unlike the other one, this uh, tells you what episodes are inside on the, on the sleeve. So that's a complete box set, by the way. Uh, this is the original 2000 version of the film by PT Video. Because I'm a bit of a collector now, I've got the Fremantle Media Edition as well. This is possibly the best Win in the Willows DVD because of all the special features, including a game, quiz and interviews by Brian Cosgrove, of course. Uh, two copies of the originally original movie, but restored. A much more basic DVD release, no special features, and they put no effort into it at all. I mean, look. Two pictures from a tail of two toads. What were they thinking? Now, if you're a classic Cosgo 4 Wind in the Willows fan, you want to look out for these DVDs on eBay every so often. They, they were from Time Life Video in 2003. Richard has said that these were only available through subscription on the, the website at the time. But if you do see these on uh, eBay, I do recommend them. They look lovely, restored. This first volume is called Classic Willows Tales and has the episodes The All Tide Entertainment, Caught in a Maze, uh, The Grand Angle Show and Badger's Remedy. Uh, it's the cut version of The All Tide Entertainment, unfortunately. Volume 2 is called Typical Toad and has the episodes Mercury of the Motor Bicycle, Burglary at Toad Hall, Fire at Toad Hall and Patient Toad. Volume 3 is Champions of the Willows, which is probably my favourite one. And it has the episodes The Paper Chase, The Great Golf and Gamble, The Champion of Green Bays, and Winter Sports. Volume 4, which is probably the cameraman's favourite, is The Wily Weasels, which has the episodes The Weasel's Trap, Unlikely Allies, The Rescue and Fancy Dress. Volume 5, The Wise Old Badger, has the episodes Harvest, School Days, Buried Treasure, and The Producer's Lot. And Volume 6 is called Ratty and Mole, Chums for Life. It has a picture from the labyrinth, but the labyrinth isn't on this DVD. The episodes are The Ghost at Mole End, The Storm, The Great Steamer, and The Pipe at the Gates of Dawn. It is the Four Seasons box set from 2006. I'm sure most of you fans have had this at some point. And you'll probably realise or notice that the earlier episodes, like The Great Steamer, The Harvest, The All Tide Entertainment, look a lot higher in quality and colour than the Series 4 episodes. That's because they are sourced from these... DVDs there is from. So the so the episodes on the four seasons that were on these digitally restored DVDs are on the four seasons basically, if that makes sense. Uh, the carry case of Spring Follies and Automantics. I'm obviously not doing the seasons in the right order. And Summer Escapades. I don't have the Winter Tales one unfortunately. 
Uh, and that's it for my Cosgrove Hall version, but I'm sure that's enough anyway. And there's the live action Terry Jones version, the live action BBC one, whoopsie daisy, and the uh, animated one by Rankin Bass. And also, I bought recently from a site called Ellaby this plush of Mr. Toad. Now, he's got a lovely driver's sheepskin jacket and waistcoat. Uh, he's from the Wind in the Willows River and Rowing Museum. I don't know if I've already mentioned this, I'll cut it out. But I wasn't able to go, obviously because of this year, bring on 2021. But um, yeah, that's from Sight Okay, Fidelity. so in this cupboard here, I have quite a few old um, videos, stuff from nostalgic reasons, childhood. I've put all the Wind in the Willows ones at the front, obviously, because that's what the video is about. So, um, I have the film here, the 90s, 1993 version of the film. Let me try and get the lighting right. I'm sure many of you have had this video as a child, or the 80s version. I mean, I had quite a lot more videos in the past than I do now, since the box sets came out and the DVDs. I don't have as many Wind in the Willows videos, but I have these select few for nostalgic reasons and um, I prefer the 90s covers really because they're the ones I grew up with, I was born in 93. So this is the film, since its first publication in 1908, Kenneth Graham's The Wind in the Willows has become a bestseller throughout the world in this unique program. The award winning animators of Cosgrove Hall bring Graham's characters Badger, Mole, Ratty and the Flamboyant Toad of Toad Hall magically to life in a beautiful setting reminiscent of the Edwardian country scene they represent. This film reflects the supreme quality of a British production with all the fun and enchantment of a fairy tale adventure. Previously available in different packaging, like it says, that will be the original 86 version and it's from 1993, year I was born. Cosgrove Hall Productions, 1983. This is what the tape looks like inside. Reader's Digest sticker. The next one I'll show is this double pack I bought a couple of years ago off eBay. I never had this specific release as a child. I bought it because of how novel and unique it is. I've not, most double video cases, they're like on top of each other, whereas this case, I'm sure you get what I mean, is quite unique. I've not seen a double VHS set like this before. And this has the enthusiastic Mr. Toad and O Toad. It's mostly episodes from series three. I only managed to watch it once because uh, my video player broke not long after, but I still, I've become a bit of a collector so I still want to keep um, this. The Enthusiastic Mr. Toad, O Toad Double Bill, like it says there, and um, the episodes are Mercury of the Motor Bicycle, Mr. Toad's Telephone, Toad Astronomer, Caught in a Maze, Masterchef, Champion of the Green Bays, and as Richard said in his review of Champion of the Green Bays, this is the only commercially available version of Champion of the Green Bays that has the proper correct audio. It doesn't have that weird echoey effect like all other releases. And I did used to have the My Bumper Wind in the Willows Fun and Games video, which had Mercury the Motor Bicycle and Champion of the Green Bays on it. But I would have loved this video as a child because these are very funny episodes on here. But obviously I didn't get this video until a couple of years ago. I've, I've watched all these episodes on the box set years before. The DVD box set. These are the video cases inside. And I don't know if you can see. There's a video collection thing. But anyway, yeah. That's the, them videos. The next one is children's favourites. Four new stories on video. And the episode on this video is Wayfair is All from series one. It's sitting green there, it's a bit dark, sorry. But yeah, it has Danger Mouse and Alias the Jester as well. But the episode of Wittawa is Wayfair is All. The next one is Spring Follies, the re-release of Spring Follies. As a child, I didn't have this actual release of the video. I got the 80s version from a charity shop. and But I much, much prefer the cover to this version. It's a beautiful green, a wonderful picture of the friends there. I love the daffodils on it and the artwork. But however, the actual videos themselves, this one has the Lost River in the middle and I like the Lost River. It's a good episode. 
but I prefer the original episode list that had um, Paper Chase on it. There's a picture from the episode Mayday, which was on the front cover of the original 80s version. Toad, Ratty, Mole and Badger. I love the designs, these 1990s video design covers. They're so beautiful. That's why I've re-bought them, not just for nostalgic reasons. But because I just love the artwork on them. There's the film. Guys, there. Sorry. The video cassette with the video collection. I hope this video isn't boring. Um, a Tale of Two Toads and Winter Tales video. Here we have the 1995 version of Autumn Antics. Again, beautiful artwork. Again, so beautiful. More. More nicer than the artwork on the DVD covers, I'd say. And, uh, yes, this is the re-release from 1995. And the episodes are The Harvest, Monster of the Wild Wood, and Remember, Remember, just as they were in the original 80s version. Again, beautiful yellows and oranges and pinks and reds. An advert for the BFG inside. And Wind in the Willows videos. This is the only one I got from a charity shop. The 1994 version of Winter Tales with the full length version of the Yuletide Entertainment. Just like the one I had as a child. Yep. The Yuletide Entertainment, Winter Sport and the Rescue. And inside the tape again, another Reader's Digest sticker. Next is A Tale of Two Toads, the 1994 re-release, which is funny because this is obviously after the first four series, but when these re-release videos came out, this was the video that came out straight after the film, before the series, and when they um, released the Four Seasons episodes, the advertisements inside the video cases made it look like this came before the actual seasonal episodes but it was clearly didn't because the animation had improved so much at this point that you, I, I could tell that it was much later on yep Taylor Two Toads let me just open up the case for you all there we go another Reader's Digest label fans see I'm so intellectual with my Reader's Digest and I had to get this video because it has my most two favourite episodes from the whole show on it. Um, Piano Roll Toad and Toad in Love. Hip Bump Special. All got Oh Mr Toad episodes on. I wanted uh, just one video with Oh Mr Toad episodes on. And the episodes are... Pitch from Gypsy Toad there. Mr Toad of the Times. Toad in Motion. Piano Roll Toad. My very favourite episode. Gypsy Toad, Toad in Love, my second favourite episode, picture from Mr Toad of the Times. On the spine is a picture of Piano Roll Toad. And there's the wonderful classic image of Toad, posed by the legendary Barry Purves. And, and pictures from Toad in Love as well. And the last of the um, videos, it's not Wind in the Willows. Uh, it is Wind in the Willows, sorry, but it's not Cosgrove Hall. It's... The American Rankin Bass version, but this is a Wind in the Willows collection video. It didn't really specify Cosgrove Hall. It's just 90% Cosgrove Hall, okay? So yes, there's that as well. I got that before I got the DVD copy because it's only been out on DVD a very short time, to be honest. This is a second-hand cassette tape I got, which has audio stories of the grand annual show and um, Alfred and the Caravan, which is the Open Road Again episode. Sorry, it's trying to get into focus. This would have come with a book originally, but... Um... Oh, heck. Yeah, uh, this would have come with a book originally, but I've just got the cassette on its own. It's not the best quality. I've played it back. I've uploaded it onto this channel, but it's not the best quality. But it says Alfred and the Caravan. Sorry, it wouldn't fail. But also, I got this audio CD, which has a audio adaption of the film, which you can see on YouTube. You type in Win in the Willows soundtrack part A and B by Keith Hopwood and Malcolm Rowe. And this one is a, a, a soundtrack edition of the film. And then disc two, 
has audio adaptions of The Weasel's Trap and Mole's Cousin, and that's a nice find as well. Right, so here I have my book collection of um, Wind in the Willows, my Cosgrove Hall book collection anyway. And this here is a, this is the actual Kenneth Graham novel, the full version of it, with illustrations by the Cosgrove Hall film, which is a lovely book to have. It's second hand, it's got a message written to somebody else inside. But anyway, because of this though, the illustrations are more or less from the making of the book. Uh, making of the film, sorry. So, chapters like The Piper at the Gates of Dawn and um, Wayfarers All don't really have much illustrations at all because at the time they weren't adapted into the film. And these illustrations, they're beautiful. Cosgrove Falls, Wind in the Willows is the best version for me anyway. But because of them being limited to the Cosgrove Hall film, there isn't much illustrations in the book at all. Nowhere near as much as you would get for the traditional E.H. Shepherd Arthur Rackham illustrations, where you get illustrations on nearly every single page. This book has quite a few pages in between the pictures, if you know what I mean. But I don't mind that at all. I'm just saying, clarifying what you get with this book. That's a beautiful colour picture of Toad and Ratty on the caravan. You see that in the credits of the film, but it's in a sepia tone. You don't see it in colour, so that's a lovely rare illustration there. The whole book, this is the whole Kenneth Graham story. Um, it take me ages to sift through it all, so let's go through it really quick. I don't want to bore anybody. It, you, you won't find this book brand new anymore. It has to be... It was only available a short time in 83 or 84, something like that. Mr. Badger, uh, Badger's Home, Ratty and Mole, Badger again, uh, very quickly. Mole and Rat at home with the field mouse, mice for Christmas, Mr. Toad. Yep, it is the complete book. There's, there's an interview with Brian Cosgrove. I've seen him with this book and there's also a photo with the voice cast and David Jason is holding this specific book as well. Yeah, and so like for, for the chapters of the Further Adventures of Toad and the Pipe at the Gates of Dawn, Wayfair is all, there's barely any illustrations whatsoever because they hadn't been brought to animation life, stop motion life yet. So yes, this is a lovely book to own if you're a fan of the Cosgrove 4 version. And if you're not too bothered about there being too many pictures, of course. So that's that one. This here is an annual from 1984-1985, I believe. I think it came out in 84. And it says it's from the ITV series of The Wind in the Willows. And there's that famous picture of them all on the Spring Follies video in the original film video. Would have cost £2.50, brand new. Lovely vintage annual. A bit of a character dis description for everybody there. Yep, and a uh, little information about the show. And although it's saying it's the Wind in the Willow series, the stories in this annual are from the film with some pictures, of course, that... Some are from the film, some are not. Um, but this is a lot more um, basic than that book I just showed you. This is obviously more for children, clearly. It's an annual. So, yeah. Uh, information about animals and all that. All the stories in these annuals are from episodes or the film. There's no new stories for annuals. There's no drawn, st illustrated stories as in uh, drawing illustrations. It's all stuff from stuff we've seen before, where the wind in the willows is concerned. Yep, information about festivals and rhymes at the time. It, it delves this annual out of the three is my favourite because it has the most stories, and it gives quite a lot of history about the Edwardian time period as well. To be honest. Yep. 
Yep. There's the ending with Toad and the plane. Um, battle for Toad Hall, etc. Festivals that talks about a Halloween and April Fool's Day and Easter at that time period, which was also very interesting to hear about. Sorry, I'm just trying to show this last little page here. Now, isn't that wonderful? Marvellous. Straight from the intro of the series, that. This is the 1986 annual. Whoops. Uh, and the stories featured on here are information about a butterfly there. Is Wayfair is all. And the Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Now, reading these stories, 80% is based on the TV adaption, of course, but there are little bits in these uh, annual stories that come from the original chapters and weren't mentioned in the TV stories, which is interesting as well. Puzzles and games, etc. Whoops. The Piper at the Gates of Dawn is the second story. There's only two stories in the annual uh, yep. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm trying to flick through these as fast as I possibly can. Yep, that's the 86 annual. And here's the 1987 annual, which was the last one they did. And the stories on this annual information about a robin there. But the difference is the storm. All these books are from eBay. And the Great Golfing Gamble. Yep, that's that annual. Just there. And I have these little paperback books. I used to have a few more. I used to have um, Bankruptcy, uh, Winter Sports, The Weasel's Trap, etc. But some got thrown away or sent to charity shops or lost, whatever. But yes, interesting pictures here. I really hope this video isn't boring. Please let me know if it was boring. I was requested if well some people said they would have liked to have seen my winning the willows collection so yeah that's the grand annual show alfred and the caravan which indeed is the open road again i don't want to be too rough with these books obviously uh, burglary at toad hall Mostly they're bought just for the for the pictures, really. But I love this show, obviously. So I appreciate it. The Labyrinth, which is one of my favourite episodes. The Harvest. I did have this one as a child as well, but I lost it. So rebought it on eBay. The Rescue, famous from the uh, Winter Tales video, and Toad Photographer. They only did series one and two episodes uh, for these books. They seem to stop doing Cosgrove Hall books and that after series two altogether. And here are these are the episodes that were adapted. The Grand Annual Show, I got. Mole's Cousin, I haven't got. The Weasel's Trap, I used to have. Alfred and the Caravan, yes. Burglary at Toad Hall, yes. The Harvest, yes. The Labyrinth, yes. Buried Treasure, no. Bankruptcy, I used to have. Winter Sports, I used to have. And The Rescue, which I just showed. These, these are, are oh. these um, figures. Paint your own figures. I got from eBay a couple of years ago. And they were um, obviously white plaster at the time. And I painted these. I mean, I don't think I've done a brilliant job. Be honest but they are very small so you can't really go into much fine detail with them and last but not least I did a video on these already a couple of months ago but I got these picture card games my friend Ricky bought for me and they were 75p from WH Smith originally and they've got pictures of Toad as the washerwoman motor car badger there's a whole um, I do a whole in-depth video of them earlier in my channel. Badger, 
the open road, Weas henchman, weasel, toad. There's mold and rat as well. Like I say, just check out the uh, earlier video on my YouTube channel. But I love these cards. The only problem is, is you can't play all card games with it. You can't play uh, trumps, whist, whatever, poker, or anything like that. You can only play four different games, as it says in the box. Uh, happy families, pairs, snap and old maid. There's no jacks, kings or queens, etc. But it's still a very nice piece of merchandise to have, obviously. And I was lucky to get these brand new, thanks to my friend Ricky, who helped me film some of this video. And that is it for my Winning the Willows collection. I hope you enjoyed the video and peace out, fans. Here, yeah, Sam, I'm here to help to make the video. Oh, sorry, Alistair, I've already filmed it now. Oi, you turned caught on the line and forgive ya! What? But Alistair, I'm planning to make more videos with you soon. Oi, you got glass. I'll buy some polonaise and chicken. Well, thanks Alistair.